Hi guys, welcome back to Shovelishmas. Um, today I'm gonna alter some bubbles. In this case, I'm gonna alter like this. And these are the um, clear bubbles. I believe you can buy these in many, many places. They're like two halves and you can get them in different sizes, but mine is fairly small. So, last year I did uh, also a Christmas ornament tutorial and, and then I used these tassels and I'm gonna link to, um, to the video with this tutorial underneath so you can find it. Okay, so now you're gonna have to, you need your glue gun. You need um, a glue that dries clear, does have a fine tip. Now this doesn't have the finest tip, but it's a tip. Okay, and then you need some fine wire or sewing thread. Wire is better. You need some um, rhinestone trim. You need some glitter, and I'm gonna use this glitter you see in here, which is fairly big glitter, because that's what I like, okay? And it's more airy, so it fills up more of the bubble when it's done. And you need seam binding. And you will need strips. That is approximately 11 inches long. Depending on how big your bubble is, mine is small. So if your bubble is bigger, you need more strips and you need a longer piece. So you're gonna start with cutting your piece up in the middle, like so. cut some okay so I have four for the tassel and one to use to hang the, the bubble and as you can see you can see I have used okay a big glitter because it gets more volume and more air in there and the tassel is fairly small so it's more adapted to the size of the bubble I could have had a little bit more so then I'm gonna cut up a little piece of wire. I don't need a lot at all. So and then I got uh what did I do? <laughs> I have to think. Um yeah, okay, yes, of course. You're gonna take your four strips pull them together like this. No, hang on. Sorry, guys. You have to ravel them. You just use your nail or um, <coughs> or um, scissor to do this. Um, get a little bit messy here, but you know, this is to make it a little bit shabby. Not just chic, but shabby as well. You don't need to do this but I recommend you have more strips in your tassel then because it will be less voluminous voluminous well, it will be less volume on it okay so you're gonna take your pieces like so this is, a this is a very easy it's just a little fiddly that's all okay take your piece of twelve wire and just go around the whole thing grab hold like so and twist it a couple of times not too much you don't want this piece here from where the 
where the twist is ending to be too long okay so cut off your pieces so they're just to have a little bit of let of the like two feet okay now back to the glitter fill up one of your halves with the glitter as much as possible okay so you can see how big these flakes are pretty huh okay so then stay make sure you get in the opposite of your um, top there just give it a little 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 bit of hot glue there okay push down your piece there so it attaches properly just give it time okay as long as it's holding quite quite put the top on this is the reason you need to have a very very thin wire because you need to get it to close properly and it won't if you have a thick wire so you can see the top there so that's also why you need to have very short feet but once it is hanging and the glitter is covering it up obviously okay and then I like to do a little extra bit of um, hot glue right there okay. it a little bit okay I'm gonna have a little piece of more of the wire just give it a little twist on top here you can do this before you attach it to the bubble as well it's I'm sorry it's just as fiddly then as now so this is the fiddler part <laughs> just want to make sure that it's holding the ribbons together on the top there doesn't have to be pretty either not at all so okay to the to the rhinestone trim I'm gonna put a blob of glue on top there and take my rhinestone and just try to tap it down on the glue hold it and then turn it around again you have to be fairly quick and yes you can burn yourself on this so if you easily burn make sure you at least use um love time glue and you can mold see this didn't work you can mold the glue just put put some warming on it again and it will it will start unravel no <laughs> it's not supposed to do like this typical Okay, try again. Okay, now I got it. And you're gonna go around couple of times the second you have the first round going it's not a problem at all okay since that is enough so I'm gonna, gonna 
put some directly on the trim there. in place and then I can cut it off. So I've loosened up a little bit on the top here. That's okay. I'm just gonna put the glue on the back side of the trim. Sometimes that is easier. But you don't want to have a big glob of glue either so just getting rid of those glue strings. Oops. Okay. I have a little bit too much glue here. that later. It's more fiddly than it's taking time to do it on the video. Okay. So, and then back to that last strip of seam binding. And just poke it through the hole. hanging from to be anything worth showing so you can use those um, bubble hangers if you want to ornament hangers or I'm using these at the moment just taking off the axis there making sure it's secure okay so then back to the rhinestone. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same on the top here as I'm down there, but it's I find it easier because of this plastic piece here. So and I'm starting next to the bubble and working my way out because it's easier to cut it off on the outside than close to the bubble. So I'm just letting that first set so it doesn't fall off. Just a little dab on top and then on bottom and then I'm gonna twine around. I will put the glue on the wire and trim itself. Alright. fine and dandy <laughs> okay so for the sides here I don't want to use glue, hot glue there because it can become yellow over time plus it won't hold in the long run as long as this is not such a porous surface and this is definitely not that so it's not a good thing so I'm using this and I'm putting the glue where the seam is you can be without this so that's it uh, and you use less than you think 
you need to use. Okay. You have to be a bit careful so you can see I didn't use a lot of glue at all. And you're gonna start on the top. And you have a little bit more time to work this than the um, the hot glue. And I'm holding the rhinestone trim in position there with my nail. So it pays to have nails, it does. <laughs> uh, but if you don't, I'm sure you can figure out something there. And just sure it's straight and the reason you don't want to use too much glue here because you will get a slight seepage on both sides and you don't want that to be showing it's too much and even though it's dry and clear it's still something on this surface surface oh my goodness um, so you just have to wait until this is dried before you can start on the next one. So <clears throat> the result will be this. And I think they're gonna be amazing in the tree. Very elegant and dangly. Give a little bit of moment. And advisably, if you have kittens in the house, you need to hang them up high. So Okay, so that's the three baubles, and um, I hope you like them. I hope you make something yourself. And instead of rhinestone trim, which is fairly expensive, you can use very tiny pearl trim. It has to be very tiny. The two millimeters, I reckon, is the right size because that's what this is. Okay, guys, I hope you liked the tutorial, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.